telling me the world's going to hell. Economically, our nation is $15 trillion in debt. Morally, the family is falling apart. Divorce, teenage pregnancy, teenage suicide, drugs, alcohol. You go down to a local high school, and what was once morally unthinkable, that was shameful, is now not only normal, it's celebrated. Spiritually, we used to be proud of our motto as a country, in God we trust. Now teachers are afraid they're breaking the law if they say that in school. When I look around and I examine the fruit that's hanging on the tree of this country, it's rotting. And when I dig down and examine the roots, I find out it's actually worse than I even thought it was. The set of ideas that is being implemented and advanced in this capital at this time is terribly frightening to people who are students of history. If you look at the 17 superpowers in history, every single one of them has called themselves exceptional. And when you look at the Roman Empire, the parallels to what is going on in America are absolutely frightening. And the question is, are we going to go the right path ourselves, or are we going to continue down the wrong path that so many nations have fallen into? There is something seriously sick in the soul of our country. If you leave a nation long enough, history tells us that eventually there will rise up some kind of a tyrant, some leader who will enslave his people. I have friends in church that tell me that the worse things get, the better it really is. Because it means that the end is near and that Jesus is returning. Don't worry that the world's going to hell in a handbasket. Just get out of the handbasket. It's part of the plan that it's meant to be, that the whole thing is going to burn. Really? Because I have kids in this world. I have friends who have children in this world, and I want a great future for them. And are we supposed to just let it go? But if we just take our hands off the wheel and let it fall off a cliff, aren't we creating a self-fulfilling prophecy? So I turn on the news and find that most people are playing the blame game. The right blames the left, the left blames the right. Government's blaming big business. Business blames big governments. Hollywood blames the church and religion, and the church is blaming the media for all of the problems. With everybody blaming everybody else, I'm not hearing a clear voice that's giving us a solution on how to get out of this mess. Wait a minute. It's got to be simple. Maybe it's as simple as we've forgotten what made this nation so successful and healthy and prosperous and secure in the first place. It's an excellent film. The, um, it's about time we get educated. The movie was incredible. I think we learned a lot about uh, history and how God works. What do you think about the movie? I thought the movie was very interesting. It tells you a lot of historical things that you never think of it. So the story right now is very surprising to me. I think they should be solution to this for us to tell you the wrong thing. The best part of Monumental that I really liked was the fact that the message came across that we need to get back to our roots as a Christian nation. fathers and our forefathers were Christians and anybody that says that uh, they were atheists is just wrong. I think that uh, this film is an expose of what's happening to our nation today. It uh, gives us the basis, the foundation, the core value of where we have come from, but it's telling what's happening today.
importante que no pierdan las raíces de dónde vienen y lo que son y no dejen moverse por los vientos de estas nuevas eras. Siempre seremos y seguiremos.